Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro De Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're gonna have a look also into Ethereum, into DXY and at the end also into Nasdaq. So Bitcoin currently my friends is trying to break out out of this falling channel that we were in here since the all time high here of $62,000. And it looks like that we have very good cards here to have a successful breakout to the upside and go up here to retest the previous support, which now could be acting as a new resistance here, the 60K level. So in my opinion, everything is looking like that we could see here follow through. But of course, what we need right now are confirmations that this previous resistance trend line, this $58,000 is now the new support and not anymore resistance and we also have another problem that we're gonna cover later on in the CME chart but here in the four hour time frame we are back in an uptrend we are getting now also a buy signal it's not yet confirmed but it's already confirmed here in the three hour time frame but you can see that in the four and three hour time frame we have right now no confirmation that this is new support we are still trying to fight here this resistance so in my opinion we are still not out of the woods yet and there is still a high chance that here we could get rejected and see another sell-off down here towards this 55 maybe even towards $54,000 to then maybe here create a clear bottom and then have another attempt here to break out here to the upside so currently we are not out of the woods yet even though of course we are back in an uptrend in the four hour in the three hour we even have now a confirmed buy signal here in the three hour time frame and if we break it down into the one hour you can also see that here the same thing we are back in an uptrend and in the one hour time frame it looks like that we are currently confirming this new support here at $57,600 but since the one hour time frame so the lower time frames in my opinion are not that much significant there could be still a high chance that here maybe we could break down again and then retest this 55 to 54 thousand dollar so what i want to see is at least here a four hour close and then of course also consolidation above 58 thousand dollar in order to have it confirmed as a new support and then we are good to open up some nice long position to ride it up at least towards here the 60 thousand dollar area and then see if we are able to break through or not because once this resistance is out here once we are breaking it then i think we're gonna see very very soon new all-time highs and the next targets are here way above seventy thousand dollar so the lower time frames are looking very bullish my friends but we still have the chance here to maybe have another drop towards 55 to 54 thousand dollar in my opinion the thing is that currently also money flow is still in negative i want to see here positive money flow in the four hour time frame as well same like we are having right now in the one hour time frame and the other problem that we still have is here in the CME chart. As you can see, we have now a new CME gap down at $54,400. And since the lower time frames are looking like that there could be a little pullback before we're gonna continue here to break out higher and also have confirmation that this is new support, I think there is a very high chance that we could see here one less big sell off towards 55 to 54 thousand dollar maybe also close this cme gap and even better come down here to retest this support trend line at around 51 thousand or 52 thousand dollar and then gear up here for a clear breakout to the upside so here on the cme chart it looks like that we are about to break out but also here we still don't have confirmation and the problem that we still have the cme gap down here at fifty-four thousand dollar makes me believe that there still could be a chance that we are still trapped within this channel here between fifty-one thousand to fifty-eight thousand dollar before we're gonna break out to the upside and the good thing here on the cmes is that it looks like that we could form here maybe even an ascending triangle here in the four hour time frame is not yet confirmed but if we are creating here higher lows and we're gonna maintain this resistance here at fifty eight thousand dollar there is a very high chance that this could play out as a ascending triangle and the breakout target let's say if we're gonna break out here on the 11th of april we're gonna have a target up here at around seventy two thousand dollar and this would bring us exactly here at the previous 
support which now could be acting as a new resistance line. So in my opinion a breakout to the upside a huge one is imminent and then we're gonna have to see if we will go towards our bullish targets of 75 to 100k or if on the way towards 100k we will get rejected somewhere but the breakout to the upside in my opinion is almost clear here and it's just because of this small CME gap that we have here and also because the lower time frames are still looking a bit exhausted. I think that we still can come down here towards this $54,000 area to retest this support and then gear up for a big breakout to the upside. So this attempt here to break out to the upside is very bullish my friends but I just don't think that this is the one that will take us towards new all-time highs. I still think that here we may be gonna stay a bit more with in this falling channel here before we're gonna see a clear breakout to the upside so currently I have no trade opened I will not FOMO in in this attempt here unless we are starting to close four hour candles above $58,000 and of course also start to consolidate then yes I'm gonna open up a FOMO trade but otherwise if here we are coming back below $58,000 I think that most likely we're gonna close this CME gap at $54,000 also come down to retest this support down here and then have probably the attempt here to break out to the upside because in my opinion here we're gonna have a successful breakout to the upside and then of course we have to see where this will take us and what will happen because I think there's still a high danger right now that we could see a big one last sell-off or washout before we gear up towards new all-time highs or towards our cycle top but at least for now it doesn't look like that it's going to happen right now also apparently we are forming here this inverse head and shoulders pattern which of course is very bullish and the breakout target would be at around $62,000 so in my opinion we are gearing up here for a big breakout to the upside but be careful if you are opening up right now over leveraged trades because we still can come down here to retest this $54,000 area close the CME gap and then have here a successful breakout to the upside which in my opinion is very likely to come and if we go over into ethereum here you can see a very similar situation also here it looks like that we could form here this inverse head and shoulders pattern same like on bitcoin and also here it looks like that we are about to break out to the upside here from this resistance that we had here also in the past it acted as a strong support and now it could be acting as a new resistance here but if we are able to consolidate here above i think the target is definitely here to reach this previous resistance here at around 1880 and then if Bitcoin is able to go higher also here in Ethereum in my opinion we will also create new all-time highs pretty soon so Ethereum is once more lagging a bit behind Bitcoin but also Ethereum is looking like that it's gonna follow Bitcoin and that's why I'm also very bullish here for the short mid and long term of course and if we go now over into the daily time frame you can see that exactly at this resistance here at 1760 where we are right now you can see exactly lining up here the 20 daily moving average at 1760 so if we are able here to start to close daily candles above this resistance and above this important moving average then I think this buy signal that we have here is definitely confirmed and we can look also here to open up some nice long positions and buy more Ethereum because also here then we are definitely headed towards new all-time highs and Ethereum is still lagging behind Bitcoin and that's why I'm also very bullish here for Ethereum as well. So all eyes right now are on Bitcoin my friends if we are able now to start to consolidate above $58,000 and also start to close candles above this resistance and the 20 daily moving average currently at $56,500 I think that also here this buy signal is confirmed here in the daily and we should look towards new all time highs pretty soon and that's why I'm very very bullish for the months of April and May and another thing that I have want to remind you is here in the weekly time frame we are still above the nine weekly moving average and of course still above here in the upper area in the Bollinger Bands so here we could easily go towards $67,000 and still remain within the Bollinger Bands here in the weekly so the weekly time frame is looking very bullish my friends and if we are starting here again to close weekly candles above the Bollinger Bands this can really go very fast to the upside and you definitely don't want to miss out if we're starting to do so because in that case 
targets between 75 to 100k are imminent and we still didn't get here this bullish cross in the stochastic RSI in the weekly time frame I think once here we're gonna have a confirmed bullish cross we're gonna see big fireworks like we always have seen when the stochastic RSI had a bullish cross in the weekly time frame like we had over here you can see a massive run-up that we are still in and the bullish thing of course is that we already have now cooled off the stochastic RSI in the weekly and we are ready to have another big parabolic move to the upside same like we had with this last cross so you see my friends bitcoin is looking again way more bullish even though we still could get here another pullback towards 54 to 55 thousand dollar maybe also to close the cme gap that we have now but overall we are back in an uptrend and what we want to see right now of course is increase in money flow and also in volume volume is not looking that bad here in the four hour time frame so that's why i think that very very soon we're gonna have a clear breakout here to the upside even though maybe right now we are not confirming it as a new support we're gonna have to wait for the next couple of four hour closes but if we're gonna confirm it as a new support then we definitely are heading up towards the new all-time highs maybe even without seeing a correction down to 54 thousand dollar or maybe this is what we're gonna see way more later maybe after we are reaching a cycle top so what we need now is a bit more time. We have to wait if we are able to consolidate above $58,000. Then I think we are out of the woods and we can head here towards new all-time highs. And the funny thing is that the DXY is also pumping. Also here we are still in an uptrend. We are currently above the EMA ribbons and of course also still trading above the 200 daily moving average. In my opinion here very soon we're gonna see a pullback to retest maybe here this previous resistance area which now is new support in theory. We are also a bit overbought here in the daily RSI and also in my own indicator. But overall here we are still in an uptrend. So as long as we are here in an uptrend, this can be dangerous for the crypto market and also for the stock market. But that doesn't mean that we have to crash right now. So the DXY can continue to pump and of course also the crypto and stock market can continue to pump at the same time before then one or the other is entering again into a bear market. But of course, if the DXY would start again to enter into a downtrend here in the daily time frame, then of course this would favor very much the crypto and stock market. That's why, in my opinion, as long as the DXY is pumping here, that is dangerous. But that doesn't mean, of course, that we have to crash down right now. So the DXY is still looking bullish and here I'm expecting continuation to the upside even though a little pullback is imminent here in my opinion to retest these supports here at around 92 to 91 dollars and then if we are able to maintain the price here above the 20 daily moving average and of course above the EMA ribbons we should also here see a reversal and the DXY has now the chance to go back in an uptrend and back in a bull market here uh, if it's not failing of course there is still a lot to recover here in the DXY that's why this is right at the beginning we still can see here a huge sell-off and that of course would be very much in favor for the crypto and stock market and speaking about stock market let's go over to Nasdaq because Nasdaq is still trading sideways here between these two Fibonacci retracements here of 12,660 and the resistance of around 13,130 the good thing is that currently we are trading above the 20 daily moving average and we're fighting with the 9 daily moving average so if we are able to take out this resistance here to, of $13,000 I think that here we are back in an uptrend of course and we will see new all-time highs very soon also because currently we are getting a buy signal and if this is getting confirmed I'm pretty confident that here also we're gonna see follow through to the upside in the next coming days and weeks all right my friends and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now a big shout out also to our great crypto trading chat here on discord if you want to join our crypto community here on discord then make sure to use the official link that you only find down below here in the video description once you click this link you have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot and like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you also want to get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then you have to contact me here with a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to this indicator or you can just sign up to a member 
membership here on YouTube directly. Like this, you also have free access to the live stream indicator here on Discord. And of course, if you are new in the crypto space, check out all my recommended exchanges that I'm also using. You find all my referral links in the description. If you're using and signing up with my links down below here, you will get some extra bonus and you support the channel, especially if you're looking for a good exchange where you can trade Bitcoin and altcoins up to 100x leverage, then use Bybit and Femex. Those two are the recommended ones that I'm also using. And if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage Bitcoin and altcoins, then try out PrimeXPT because here you can easily just top up some Bitcoin and then click here on follow on the trader that you want. So that means that here you can easily copy trade other traders, especially here the successful ones. If you want to follow, for example, this guy, you just click here on follow and then put the amount that you want to invest. And like this, whatever he's trading, you will automatically also be trading. And like this, you can easily, if you catch the right traders, do some gains as well without doing anything. So if you want to try this feature out that you find only here on Prime XPT, then check out my link down below here because if you sign up with my link, you can also get this special deposit bonus. And of course, you will also get advantage of this 25% of the fees with these two promo codes. So if you like the content, my friends, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.